Hello and welcome back to our building series. In this episode, we're going to we're almost carry on from where we start, left off last time with the cable stuff. But what I'm going to do before then is just fix a few things regarding our power source. So our power source at the moment is just a power solar block. Now, ideally, I want this to be a parent block and then solar panel be a child of that. Because there might be multiple types of power blocks that we might have like solar, wind, whatever it may be. So it's important for us, I think, to take this and make this a parent instead. So to do that, I'm going to rename this one parent. Power parent. And then right click and create a child blueprint class of that. And this will be called power solar. So on the power parent, all this will be exactly the same, except for the condition of when it should receive power. So I'm going to convert this to a function which can be overridden by our power blocks. So I'm going to take this, 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 and this, and we're going to right click and collapse that to a function. I'm going to call this one can generate power. And we're going to go into that and we're going to, oh, I don't need a branch, sorry, get rid of the branch. We'll put a return node here. And the return node is going to take this return value into it. So now this function is going to return whether or not, by default, whether or not we can have power. So let's go back to here. And now you can see that return value appear at the end of our function. And we're going to put that into a branch. And there you go. So it's true. It'll go to there. So what we're going to have is our power parent is going to work and function just like the solar panel one. However, we can override that solar panel one with different things. So for example, we, are, we aren't going to do it on here, but um, if I go and to functions and go override, and you'll see can generate power, we then create our own function for generating power. So let's say, for example, this is wind, okay? And wind is just going to just generate power no matter what, okay? Depending on its height. So let's take that out. So we don't want to generate the original power. Instead, we're just going to plug that in and return values can be true, okay? And this will now do wind stuff because that is now going to do exactly the same thing as wind. Um, and that's it, really. So you just customize and override this condition based on the power so it, whether it has enough fuel whether it's connected to a certain block whether it's high enough in the world whether it can see sunlight if it's near water whatever it may be this is where you put in that code here um, we may may do some examples of different power blocks later but for now i just want to move on from this so i'm going to get rid of that and just remove that function so it reverts back to its uh, parent class so now we've got two power panel uh, power blocks here uh, we need to change our UI to use the correct one in other words take away from the power solar not power parent so let's go into our block table data table here go on power solar and let's change the class it's using at the bottom here to power solar Hit save and close so functionally it works it looks the same works the same but now we've got this parent function instead set up and it works a lot nicer uh, and that's it for this episode. It's a nice short, quick one, um, as we just want to move on now to actually getting blocks to communicate to each other, transferring power over, and then eventually items. So join us in the next episode over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily, where you can watch that part, plus many others before everyone else. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. As I say, none of this would happen without you guys, so thank you so, so much. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my content that I release weekly. Thanks for everyone for watching and I'll see you all next one.